Several state departments will host a special art show. Joining us in studio now, Deputy Commissioner of Women's Services and Operations for the Department of Corrections, Dr. Elizabeth Motz, along with Assistant Director for Reentry, Rebecca Benzema. Thank you both so much for joining us. We have to talk about this piece straight off the bat. <laughs> it's striking. Absolutely. Uh, this was a piece that was donated to us from Ingram State Technical College. They do all of the correctional education throughout the state of Alabama. They're excellent partners. We do have seven partners that uh, contribute to the art exhibit. We have, of course, the Bureau of Partner Paroles, Department of Corrections, Prison Arts and Education Project, Ingram State Technical College, as mentioned before, Alabama Department of Archives and History, and the Alabama Department of Mental Health. Um, Ingram was uh, generous enough to donate this to us. It's an extremely impressive piece, and it does show the excellent work that can be done by the inmates on the inside. What they did is they used welding techniques to create this beautiful shark, and it just just is an excellent example of how art can be used to teach while they are inside of the institution. We know how valuable welding can be. And, Absolutely. And, and that's a great skill mm -hmm. to teach. And I know this has mental health benefits as well, working with the arts. You have another piece Absolutely. to show us. I do, I do. And this is um, an art piece uh, that was uh, created by the women at Tutwiler um, with very minimal supplies. So if you have the ability to kind of zoom in. We're probably only talking about five different supplies here. Um, paper, paint, some little glitter stickers, and some canvas. Um, so, you know, with very little supplies and a lot of creativity, it is a wonderful opportunity for our populations to express themselves artistically. Um, and a lot of them get an opportunity to do that after participating in some program that does address their therapeutic needs. Um, so it comes after a lot of work that they do with themselves. Um, and then it's an opportunity to kind of prolong and see the benefits of that work. Yeah, talk about the benefits you've seen through yes. this program with inmates. Okay, wonderful. We do, um, as uh, Ms. Benzema mentioned, we have several partners that come into our facilities. Um, two that were mentioned earlier are Ingram Technical College and the uh, Alabama Prison Arts and Education Project. And they'll come in and they'll do different um, art workshops. Um, Ingram, in fact, um, provides a lot of vocational education programs. So uh, once a person has participated and completed that programming, um, then they're eligible to continue in some more programs. And so there's a lot of opportunity to, for them to work and express what they've learned in these programs through art and other means. So it's, it has a lot of benefits. Um, for us, it has benefits to um, behavior management, a lot of self-reflection, and just um, overall some of the rehabilitation efforts that we're trying to do through our departments are this is a valuable part of that process. Yeah, I know Director Ward has talked about the goal is to make sure they're successful once they complete their time uh, behind mm -hmm. bars, once they re-enter mm -hmm. uh, society, they want to be successful. And this is this is a key part of that, art is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, um, I have some examples here that uh, Alabama Department of Mental Health uh, was a partner who assisted in creating these coloring books for children. And going uh, to piggyback on what you had just said, what's important is people forget that, that these are in that these justice involved individuals are in the community, so are their children. And they are in school next to our children. They are in our stores. They are our neighbors. They are our coworkers. They are our community. Justice involved people are part of our community too. So they can be sober, they can be stable, and they can be contributing or not. Mm -hmm. This is part of what gets them there. Uh, these coloring books were created um, as a way to assist the children of those justice involved in understanding what's happening. We use these in our board waiting areas. They are used in some mm -hmm. of the areas in Department of Corrections. Uh, for the children of, of justice involved individuals. How can folks check out this artwork and support you? Wonderful, glad you asked. So the art exhibit is on April 11th from 5 to 7 p.m. at State Archives here in downtown Montgomery. We're very excited that Archives is a partner. They do an excellent job. It's a beautiful exhibit. Uh, there's snacks and drinks and it's just a really great night and it's a great opportunity to see what all of our state agencies are doing to support the community here in the state of Alabama. This is incredible work. We thank you both so much. Oh, we appreciate you. your time.